let's talk about the desks and the desk setup. So I keep getting people like commenting, why don't you split up the desks down the middle, push them against the wall over there and push them against the wall over there, then I'll have a walkway. Reason I don't do that, because that was the first thing I was gonna do. I wanted like a little walkway here and then I wanted four desks and then a walkway and then four desks and then a walkway, but it's not long enough to support that many desks. Reason I don't push them up against the wall is because I need access to these bulletin boards. I don't like having kids sitting against the wall because they tend to lean on the wall and like fall asleep on the wall because <laughs> it like supports them, I guess. Um, but I just need access to these bulletin boards and if kids are sitting here, I, it's just, what if they, you know, tag up the bulletin boards? What if they rip something? Um, what if, you know, whatever, right? I just need to have access to it to be able to change things up because we're gonna put like student work up there. And same with this side. I don't want them up against the bulletin board on this side. And I know that you guys are already thinking like um, how negative it sounds with like kids tagging on the walls and tagging on the bulletin boards and ripping things. And it's because I am a sixth year teacher. I worked at a continuation school for the past five years and I know that stuff happens. I know it happens. I know that kids tag things and I know that things get ruined and I know that it's not always intentional. It's, it's by accident. I remember one time I was subbing for another teacher in his room and a girl grabs her backpack and she turns and puts it on her shoulder because um, she was leaving the classroom, the bell rang and her backpack snagged onto the bulletin board paper and ripped it clear in half. <laughs> like the whole, the entire bulletin board paper just ripped in half all the way across. And I'm like, how does that even happen? Like, you know, accidents happen, things happen. But I just want to be more proactive so that I know like I'm protecting it instead of, you know, oh dang, I have to change it again. Because you guys, these take so long to put a bulletin board, they take so long. Um, especially having to redo it and I need someone else to help me because it's like it's actual paper like this is paper it's not like shiny it's not um, cloth it's not fabric it's paper like literally plain old paper um, it rips very easily so it wrinkles very easily and you just need I don't know it takes so long you guys but yeah so I just wanted to kind of cover that why I'm not splitting them up and having that aisle down the middle I love the idea of having an aisle down the middle but I also need the security of having a walkway down the sides I don't like I don't want kids right up against the bulletin boards and especially imagine trying to change the bulletin boards right when there's two desks touching them you have to like go between them and then go around them and it's too much so that's that's my that's my case i'm pleading my case but yeah so look at how, look at this mess um i still haven't gotten the plexiglass shields yet working on that but yeah i'm just going to go ahead and finish up the bulletin boards i have some ideas in mind for how i'm doing it so let's go ahead and do that so this is the paper that i got for my backgrounds it is just craft paper like wrapping paper I guess the craft art paper craft with a K and this is going to go on my bulletin boards and I am going to also have the tassel borders and then I got some more borders to kind of match what I'm thinking in my mind and that's going to replace one of the borders I don't really like or one of the bulletin boards I don't really like I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be Somewhere else to set me free I don't know what to do now Need to figure it out, but I don't know how I hope the wind will carry me And take me away to where I should be done yet but I already love it a whole lot more than the other one and I know it's not that different but I feel like the darker color in the back just makes these pop more 
So it's actually even gonna get better once I put in the second border. So these are the second borders I got, and it's gonna be these two with the craft paper. And it's perfect. I love it. Like those colors are just so much better. So that's what it's gonna look like. Okay, so I did this one upside down. I don't like that white bar between them, so I have to redo that whole thing. I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be. This is what I want it to look like. I'm very happy now. saying goodbye all i know is i need to be somewhere else to set me free i don't know what to do now need to figure it out but i don't know how i hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where i should be Searching 
there's a place where the sun won't go away Wide awake with an open mind Looking out from a mountain high Just one more to go. It looks so good. Okay, I know how annoying I am, but I'm changing this one again. <laughs> so I have this border here and it's nice, but I'm gonna change this to the black and white polka dots because I feel like that might be a good like matchup with these. So that's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna take off all these and I'm gonna put the black and white polka dots instead. Oh, I wonder if there's a place where the sun won't go away. Wide awake with an open mind, looking out from a mountain high. I don't know what to do now, need to figure it out, but I don't know how. I hope the wind will carry me and take me away to where I should be. definitely loving the polka dots on this one the black polka dots matching up to these black polka dots it's perfect I love it okay so we have one more board and then we are finished with the boards for now but it looks so good I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be Somewhere else to set me free I don't know what to do now Need to figure it out but I don't know how I hope the wind will carry me And take me away to where I should be I love it and then once I get like letters and stuff up there it's gonna look even better and then the polka dots there matching these ones it's beautiful love it okay so my bulletin boards are done and now I'm moving on to my next little 
project, I guess. So I have this homework bin and it is very yellow, very yellow. And normally yellow, I don't think would be that bad in like a boho classroom, but I am going to change the color. So I originally had this wood contact paper. It's in here somewhere, <laughs> I don't know where it is. But I went to Target and there's, the, look how sweaty I am, that's gross you guys, I'm so sorry. Um, there's this polka dot one. So I figure, let's put the polka dot one on it and then it'll match the bulletin boards too and it'll be just so cute. So I'm gonna go ahead and do that. So this is like a sticky wallpaper type of contact paper, I think, I don't know, um, I hope so. Removable wallpaper, peel and stick. So this is sticky wallpaper, contact paper from Opal House. So if you're interested, check it out. I can't tell what's wrong or right Should I go without saying goodbye? All I know is I need to be Somewhere else to set me free I don't know what to do now Need to figure it out but I don't know how I hope the wind will carry me And take me away to where I should be and it looks so good okay so this is the back where you open the doors and it's still yellow at the bottom but I'm not gonna do that this is the inside so each compartment is for each period number so this is the front and see through because the door is open but it looks so cute kids just put their homework in these slots so you would just write what period number it is at the top or wherever but it is so cute. <laughs> I am like obsessed. Like how perfect does that match the bulletin board? It's so cute. So, so cute. I'm gonna link this in the down bar. I've had a couple of questions from you guys about the homework bin and it works so well because kids can turn in their work without like people taking the work to copy it and then putting it back in. It works so good. And if you open the doors, 
You can go through each individual period, but don't open it during class because kids don't know that there are doors in the back. And if they did, they might open them, open it that way. I can't do this with one hand, but basically it just closes like that. There are holes in here in the door right there. If you could see that, I just haven't cut that out yet. So it's easier to put your finger in and pull it. So, but yeah, this is what it looks like. And I'm, so, I'm just so obsessed, that's so cute. Okay, so I am getting ready to leave. I haven't started packing up my things yet, but I have started organizing everything. So I'm gonna show you like an overview. So I have bulletin board done, bulletin board done, and bulletin board done. So the custodian actually came in and he already cleaned this for me. Look at it, it's so clean. We just took out the bookcases and it's already clean. I'm so thankful. So tomorrow I'm gonna put those together. I actually have two more at home, so I might end up bringing those two, but I honestly don't wanna do four in one day. So I'm gonna put those together tomorrow. Those are bookcases that are like this high, not as high as the one before, but it's higher than my black one. And I have two, probably two right here and then two right there and then a little black one over there and a little black one over here but we're gonna see what happens with that but this is blocking my bulletin so you can't really see it I'm gonna move it tomorrow but so pretty I have words that are already printed and cut out to go on there I just need to laminate them and then put them up and that's probably gonna be tomorrow too same with this one and I started organizing all my stuff, so look how empty this is. So empty, I just kind of stacked it all on there. So if there's an earthquake, this is gonna fall, so oh well. Um, but I was just kind of putting stuff over here to organize it. So I wanna show you this wood contact paper. This is what I originally had for my turn-in box, my homework box over here. But I liked the polka dots better, so it would have been this. And I'm glad I went with the polka dots, but this is right by the door, so when the kids come in, They'll drop off their homework and then take a seat. And I love it. It's so cute. If you watched one of my previous videos where I talked about the file cabinet, it smelled really bad. Like it really smelled so bad. So I let it air out and I'm pleased to announce that it smells normal now. <laughs> Some of you mentioned to do um, oil diffuser drops. And I actually have some. I'm not an oil person, but I actually have some for my mom. And I brought some just in case, but it smells fine now. I might still sprinkle some in there um, just to make sure it doesn't like continue to smell or end up smelling later. But I'm pleased to announce that it doesn't smell anymore, which is really nice. So yeah, this is my classroom. It's coming along. I know I'm in like what day six or something and it looks like I have only been here a day and reason is because you remember I was teaching summer school and I was only here until after like after summer school I would come here and I would just run out of time and the school would close um, and then I'd have to redo everything because I didn't like it typical me right um, but yeah so today I had more time but not enough time because I needed my dad to come and help me with a lot of the things like just a lot of it and he was on a time crunch too and I had to wait for him to wake up but tomorrow I'm gonna be here pretty early and I'm gonna work on those bookcases and then we're gonna start getting stuff organized like in bins and stuff and just ready ready to go oh and I still have to get into the decorations I have so many decorations guys right there so what I have right now are these command strips and I am hoping that these will hold. These hold four pounds to 16 pounds, but if I did read the reviews and some people said that things would drop anyways. So I'm hoping that they work. If not, I brought some nails, but don't tell. Okay, I don't think you're allowed to use nails. <laughs> but it's gonna get hung up. My stuff's gonna get hung up. It's gonna look gorgeous. I'm so excited. Anyways, I'm gonna go home. I'm so tired. It's like six o'clock already and I told the guy I was leaving at five so 
but he, he cleaned those floors and I'm just so thankful. It's so nice and I can come in tomorrow, work on the bookcases and just have that spot for them. But yeah, I still got a lot to do and I'm glad to have you come with me and be along for this little journey. Look at that, looks so bad, <laughs> looks so bad. Um, but yeah, so I'm gonna head out. If you guys have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. Any comments or questions, I guess. Um, like this video if you like it. Subscribe if you haven't already if you're new here. And I will see you in the next one. Bye. You